um, for sure. Um, and then I think it, it'll just keep getting better for us collectively too. How much difference will it make playing? It'll make a big difference. We have we have a great um, a great fan base, a great home court advantage um, playing at the Moda Center. So we're looking forward to, to getting getting a rhythm here at home. I think um, shooting the ball and just playing with with more energy. You guys seem to understand what the Clippers are doing better in the season. Yes, game. yes. The result is the same. Yeah. Um, what can you do differently now that you kind of seem to know what they're doing? Yeah, well, you're always making adjustments. You know, we I thought strategically um, from our coaching staff, we made a lot, a lot of really good changes um, from game one to game two. And then now I'm sure they'll make adjustments because uh, they realize we've got a lot of open looks. We got a lot, of, a lot of shots that we wanted, and and there are, it'll be, um, you know, there are going to be adjustments every game. So just, um, you know, I'm not going to tell you what we're doing, but <laughs> um, just making, making sure that we we lock in on, on what we're trying to do and, and execute well. Um, I mean, really, just playing, playing better. Um, you know, my what I what I did didn't change a whole lot. I think that. A big thing was running into ball screens, trying to create separation. Um, and then, like, we, we just knew that all the attention was going to be on the perimeter. So uh, to get those guys uh, off the ball, put uh, put the ball in my hands and let them play off the ball a little bit was good. And um, I think some of the same stuff will be open in game three. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I think uh, we'll take the easy ones away for DeAndre. Um, I think we still, uh, a big thing with him is is limiting his um, second possessions. Like, he, he even though he's not coming up with the ball, he's tapping it out and giving them extra possessions. So that's something we want to take away. And then with Blake, I thought our guys did a really good job. And I think having a mower chief on CP be uh, uh, was a factor because then they're switching on to Blake. And instead of having our, our guards on Blake, we had our three or our four man. And those guys did a heck of a job. Um, so we'll, we'll continue to get better. And um, I like how I feel like we're uh, we're understanding the, the matchup more as we go forward. And, and we're going to have a breakthrough moment for sure. Is, is there any discussion about perspective and like, kind of the fact that like, 2 0 is like, not that big of a thing? No, you, yeah, I mean, you still got to gotta win win four games to win the series, and we just know that that's still, that's still an opportunity and that's still very realistic. We aren't, we aren't thinking about I know some people talk about the percentage of teams that get down 2-0 or the, the percentage of teams who lose game one. We aren't, we aren't concerned with any of that. Um, we're just, we just know that we're capable of playing better. We know we're capable of winning, and, and that's what we're here to do. Has there been a trait of this team all year, kind of that like, belief that yeah, we're, I mean, we're better than outside perceptions, we're better than all that? Yeah, and we're like, I know that post game they asked CJ if, if we're still a confident group. We're, we're very confident, and we feel very good about going into game three. So um, you could just handle the next game, and, and that's what we're focused on. Not really at all. Um, it, you get so so used to him um, having having strong performances. It's almost like it's an anomaly when he doesn't. So um, we're not concerned at all. He's, you know, I think we'll, we'll have, we'll talk after game three. You guys will be asking me about his how well he plays, so um, that's that's kind of how I expect it to go. Have you sensed anything different from him? Can you, or do you think um, that? He's been the same guy, man. He doesn't change. I think, uh, you know, that, that's a great leadership quality is he's not, he doesn't show any weakness when he plays great, when he plays, um, when he doesn't play as well. So his highs aren't too high and his lows aren't too low. He's very even keel, and um, that's that's a great quality to have.